Welcome to our second Longwood Basketball Insider. I'm Greg Prouty, joined by men's basketball head coach Mike Gillian. Coach, welcome to uh, week number two. Thanks, Greg. Excited to be here. Let's get to it. Coach, uh, since we last talked, we had our first, first ever Big South Conference men's basketball game. It was played here in Farmville in Willett Hall. And uh, this past Saturday against Coastal Carolina University, a team picked uh, second in the South Division of the preseason coaches poll this year in the Big South. And arguably, probably over the last uh, four or five seasons, uh, one of the top two programs in the league um, historically in recent years. Yeah, we talked about it last week, Greg. Uh, a couple things. That's a historic event, the first Big South game, first opportunity for us to play. Uh, in an uh, environment that we've been waiting nine years for, and it's going to be an unforgettable experience. Not the exact type of, type of memory we wanted to have coming out of that game. You obviously want to be successful there. But against the Coastal Carolina team historically, that's been at the top of the Big South for a four-year period of time. They've won regular season championships. They've participated in multiple postseason events, whether it be the NIT, the collegeinsider.com postseason tournament, and if you want to be at the top of anything you're doing, a basketball league, a profession, well, you've got to go up and prove that you belong there by competing against the top level of competition, learning what it takes to be at the top, and then, uh, once again, proving you belong. And in our case, proving we belong on the court. We did a lot of good things, not quite enough at the end of the game. And Coach, uh, a close game throughout. Final score is 80-72, Coastal Carolina. Um, they got out to a 10-point lead midway through the first half. You made a run at them, got it back to one late in the half, and then uh, they get a, get a couple shots, including a half-court three-pointer at the buzzer. Uh, they're up uh, seven points at halftime, I believe. Second half, they stretched it out early to about nine maybe, came right back, tied them, took a lead, had to lead with uh, under eight minutes to play. It was back and forth from there. Still with a couple minutes left, it was anybody's ball game, and Unfortunately, uh, we just didn't quite get enough plays there at the end of the game. You pretty much covered the whole 40 minutes in, in that short time. We did so many things well, and there are so many things that I know we've improved on since earlier in the year that put us in position to be successful. Uh, in the first half, a, a couple things didn't go our way. We had the ball down by four with about 28, 29 seconds left in the half. You want to get the last shot. We miss a pretty good three-point shot with about five seconds to go. Guys get dragged to the ground. You, you wonder if there's a call there, but there isn't one. They get it out there and make a 40-footer at halftime to take, instead of a four-point lead in a, into the break, a seven-point lead into the break. Uh, we had a somewhat of a display of inexperience before the game ever started. Something that I've, in, in the 10 years I've been here now, it's occurred and not, not been called, and there, there's different ways to interpret different situations, but we start the game, or they start the game with two free throws, so a, a couple of things not great, but we're right there. In the second half, we played very well. Again, did a lot of really good things. Put ourselves in position to take the lead, and once we got it, we didn't do a good enough job with it. We gave the ball back to them so they could tie the game two times. We had, the, um, we had got back to even a few times, had opportunities with the ball that we didn't convert, that they did, and then you get into the last two minutes and it's a two-point game. That's what you play for. One of the things I told the guys at the last media timeout was the game is now just beginning. There's three minutes and 38 seconds left. It's a close game. It's anybody's ball game. It's just now starting. We truly have not been in those <clears throat> uh, situations enough with this group to know what that's like. And we need to be in them more. And, the, and when we start to experience some success there, I think that'll carry over. So all in all, good performance, not good enough to come out on top, but a lot of encouraging things because if that's the best team in the Big South, we're really not far from the top. Coach, like you say, at the very least, prove that we belong in the Big South Conference with that effort on Saturday. Your four freshmen basically led your, led your team on Saturday. Nick Brown, 19 points. Michael Kessens, another double-double, 12 points, 10 rebounds. And then your two guys off the bench, Carl Ziegler and Lucas Woodhouse, played very well for you also. Jelani Dublin had 10 points, a sophomore. So, again, your young guys playing well. Yeah, and we talked about Jelani last week. You know, he's a sophomore now, but he's never played. So he's brand new just like these guys. The game experience that they're getting is paying off for them. The, the game is starting to slow down a little, and our team experience. And then you put Tristan Carey and David Robinson in there, and we certainly need a little more out of a couple more guys as well. But that main group 
is, is really beginning to understand how to play well together. Now we need to clean up some things. In the Fairleigh Dickinson game, we got beat on the interior by a post player. In the Coastal game, we got beat on guys driving to the basket. So uh, we're doing a good job offensively. But we'll make a, still make a few mistakes. We're, we're doing a decent job defensively. Need to get much better in that area. But I know we're improving. I know we're getting better. And it's a long season. A lot of basketball left to be played. Two games this week, Coach. Uh, Wednesday night at home, Campbell University visits. They're the preseason pick to win the North Division of the Big South. And uh, Campbell, a team you're very <coughs> familiar with, have played them a lot in recent years, um, here and there. And uh, they're led by uh, uh, Darren White and Trey Freeman. And Darren White's uh, actually played against Longwood once before when he played for James Madison as a freshman several years back before he transferred to Campbell. But talk a little bit about the uh, Fighting Camels and Wednesday night here in Willett Hall. Well, here we go. It's great for us to have three straight home games to open Big South play. Uh, we don't have students here, but we had a great crowd the other day. And the three home games are against Coastal Carolina, historically the best team in the league. Campbell picked to win our division, and Charleston Southern on Saturday picked to win the South Division. Uh, another test for us. These teams are all the same. Darren White, I think, leads the league in scoring right now a little over 21 points a game. He's an explosive athletic player that gets a lot in transition, a lot driving to the basket. Trey Freeman, a sophomore guard who, much like Kier Greenwood, and much like the guys we'll see on Saturday from Charleston Southern, talented guy with the ball, controls the game, does some scoring for himself, pushes the ball in transition. Those two guys are key. But there are a lot of other weapons on the team that help them push the pace, score points, defend you, and put them in position to be the preseason favorite in the North Division. And Coach, as you mentioned, uh, Saturday, Charleston Southern comes to town, uh, picked to win the South Division. Uh, they're led by a couple of guards in the backcourt, uh, Arlen Harper and uh, Sal Nimley, and those guys are uh, high-scoring guards. They're only sophomores. They uh, started last year as freshmen. One of them was the league freshman of the year. and, and uh, they got some size inside there as well, and talk about the Charleston Southern team. Uh, again, another team that's picked at the top of their division in the league, and the reason these teams are picked this way, Greg, is because they had success a year ago. Campbell, what was really good, tailed off a little at the end of last season. Charleston Southern had a great regular season last year, and those two guards were freshmen and played very well. So there's experience that we've been talking about with our team that they already have, and that put, has put them in position now to have earned those preseason recognitions. And, uh, but it doesn't change the fact that the game's played on the court, and well, especially coming off Saturday's game. Again, although not the result we wanted to have, a lot of encouraging things, a lot of things we did well to put ourselves in position to be successful. And if we continue to do those things and improve constantly, we'll be right there with the Campbells, Charleston Southerns, right on through the league. Gardner Webb's off to a pretty good start. so. Uh, you know, every game's going to be a challenge. You have, from top to bottom, a very competitive league. You don't have anybody here who's going to run away with the conference, and you don't have anybody who's going to be sitting at the back end either. So, a lot of basketball to play. Coach, uh, one more thing for Saturday. The game is part of the uh, Big South Conference Game of the Week on ESPN3, so get a little uh, additional exposure for that contest. And students can come back a little bit earlier on uh, this weekend, Saturday, to be here for that game Saturday. So. We could have a full house in here on Saturday. It'll be great. Classes start Tuesday afternoon. So, you know, when I was in college, if classes started on Tuesday, the preceding Friday, I was sick of being home. I wanted to get back to where all my friends and where the fun was. And uh, we'd love to see everybody back in here, or a large portion of them, Saturday afternoon. We're on ESPN3. It's not – it's a regular TV broadcast. So that thing, anybody can see it now with the way technology is. You don't need to have it on ESPN, on CBS. You can take that, hook it up right to your TV, watch the game like you would any other normal programming, and uh, if those kids are in here in the gym, they're going to they're be on television. It'll be exciting. And Coach, it will be the first ESPN production here on campus. They'll bring in their own production truck and uh, produce the entire telecast on Saturday. And we've had some TV games, and we've done it economically. We've done a good job putting first the James Madison game on, the Canisius and Seton Hall games last year. But as you said, uh, at the top of that chart, is ESPN, and when you associate yourselves with them, you know it's going to be exciting. Coach, I uh, want to wish you luck on Wednesday night against Campbell, Saturday against Charleston Southern, two home games, and looking for that first Big South Conference victory. Yeah, as we said, the, that first experience last Saturday will truly be unforgettable. There's only a first time once, and you never forget what happens first, but we haven't had that memorable experience yet. The first Big South win 
uh, will be something also that no one's going to forget. Thank you, Coach, and uh, we'll look forward to having you back here again next week for another edition of our Longwood Basketball Insider.